All right, so I'm buying some platinum off for what I'm about to cook tonight. I like how they put the ripe ones in the front and then towards the back they got, I mean the ripe ones in the back, the not ripe ones in the front. But uh, this is what I was talking about when I said you could go to the local spots. This is definitely a local spot. And they got really good fresh stuff. Uh, replenished daily. So I think I'm going to be cooking something later. This is just a start. Gracias. I did put all the money. Dale. Dale, Come on, nip. So yeah, she just served me on the low. Because it's really not my day, but it's just a plan now. No big deal. So yeah, we'll be cooking later. Stay tuned. About to keep walking this afternoon already, like four o'clock right now. So I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. What's going on YouTube? I'm here about to make some dinner tonight. Um, I'm gonna try to make this Latin dish. Um, you know, and if I mess this up, you know, this is bad because it's a very good dish. It's a very important Latin dish. But tonight I'm gonna do some black beans and rice. I've been having these black beans soak overnight. Um, water. And then these are some of the ingredients I'm gonna use, probably some garlic too. Um, but I'm not gonna film every little piece, me cutting everything. I'll just film some important parts of me putting it together. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna do a fr uh, fried platino as well. So it's an exciting night. Um, and I think I'm gonna do some pork with that. Um, Cause I got some pork at the butcher the other day. So I think I'm gonna do like um, fried pork chops maybe with it. And We'll see what happens. I'm not 100% sure on the menu yet, but um, I'm about to start putting it together now. So check back with you guys. All right, guys. So <clears throat> first step, all I did was take those beans I had soaking overnight and throw them into this pressure cooker. Um, I saved some of the bean stock from that for later, just in case I want to make a con gris, like uh, white rice mixed with the beans. Um, but for right now, I'm just making the beans and probably have the rice separate. But uh, I just put the beans on with a little bit of hot water. I'm about to throw in these peppers and then this onion that I just peeled apart right here. I just took half an onion and peeled it apart. So boom, so those peppers, this onion right here. I'm sure there's a million ways to make this. Um, <clears throat> you know, black beans, but this is the way I'm doing it. So we got that in there. I'm about to throw some garlic in there um, and then some oil. And then we're gonna wait for about an hour while that cooks. All right, so I'll be back. I'm gonna do the garlic and the oil. Okay, you two are back. As you can see, I gotta talk loud because this thing is kind of loud, but this is your pepper cooker. And it's making that noise because it's got a whole bunch of pressure. Um, so in a separate pot, I have to um, put together some oil, um, some veggies, and a little bit of chorizo uh, for flavor. So there's the oil. I'm about to start going. These are the veggies I got. And then I'm going to throw in a little piece of chorizo. And then I'll get back with you and show you what that looks like. Peace. All right, so first I got the sausage going and the oil. It's just heating up right now. And then I got the onions and the peppers right here that I chopped up after the sausage gets going. This has uh, been off for almost an hour in the pressure cooker. So we'll open that up in a few minutes. We're doing this for right now. A massage. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these in as soon as this gets going. So. I'll check back with you once I get these in there. Okay, now it's a party in this pot right now. It's got everything I like, man. You know, it's got the chorizo. Hope y'all can see that, man. The onions, the peppers, um, the oil, you know. It's a party going on in here. A lot of flavors. That's what I love about my cooking. Now what I'm about to do is break out the seasonings that I'm gonna use for the, um, once I drop this, which I think 
which is not much pepper, um, some oregano, uh, a little salt, and I like to drop a little bit of the chili sauce in there. It's got hella flavor. That's pretty much it um, for that, yeah. So, once I get this in there, I'm gonna throw the seasoning, but first I'm gonna have to open that up, so we get to see that. But for right now, we're just sauteing this. You know, it's a lot going on in here. Just everything I like in here. Um, and you don't wanna saute it too much. Um, and it's still gonna cook a little bit in there. But I'll just probably stop this in about a minute. And just um, go ahead and open that up. So um, let's get to it. Smells great. So this is what happens when you lift this thing up. So like the whole, it does this for like a minute or two minutes or more. So when you lift this up, sometimes there's some vapor that comes out. It's crazy. It's all the pressure coming out, but sometimes like a little bit of water or like vapor comes out. Don't worry about that. You can clean it off later like that. It'll come off. Um, it'll come off later. It's just vapor. So um, it's just cooling down. It still needs a couple minutes. There it goes. Cooling out. You can, you can hear it getting a little bit lower, but. We'll let that go. We got the chorizo all, almost there. Um, we'll cut the fire on that. Should I give Nipsey some chorizo? He's never had table food, guys. Ever. I don't feed him any table food. Should I get a boy some uh, some chorizo one day? No, I don't think so. I don't think he can handle it. I don't like when the dogs like are all over you while you eat. So uh, I don't give him any food. He knows not to hang out like by the food while I cook because he tries to eat anything that falls on the floor and a lot of stuff is bad for them. Like, I don't think garlic and onion is necessary. I think that's bad for them. Garlic and onion. Somebody let me know about that one. But uh Yeah, this is almost ready to go. I can almost lift it. You gotta allow the pressure out before you can open it, so check back when that's open. Nice. Okay guys, we're back. We got the beans. Yeah, black beans. Straight out the pressure cooker. Some veggies in there and whatnot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just throw this in here. Hopefully, doesn't spill. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna cook this. I'm gonna season it and then with pretty much everything you see here. That's pepper. Salt, oregano, cilantro as well, and some garlic. Um, and then we'll be back and we'll just let that cook with an open top for Maybe another 30 minutes or so. Peace. Okay guys, um, I'm in the middle of Spanish class, but it's time to add this um, cilantro that I chopped up, as well as, um, what else? I need to add this garlic really quick. So I'm gonna do this. Um, And then we should be good on these beans. I tried them and they are super soft. That's why I was wanting because the last time I made beans, I soaked them, but I only soaked them for like a limited amount of time, like eight hours, like an idiot. And they were not soft at all. <laughs> so this time I tried them, they're absolutely soft. So that's amazing. And you know, there's a chunk of garlic. I'm gonna finish putting the rest of this in there. 
Um, and then, yeah, the beans will be ready. I'm gonna work on some white rice and start cleaning up after I finish the Spanish class. So um, I'll get back with you um, a little bit later. Sorry for, I got a lot going on right now, but sometimes you just gotta um, manage a few things at once. So that's today. All right. All right, guys, I forgot to mention a couple seasonings. I'll put in cumin. This is cumin in the States. Um, and then this is a chicken bouillon cube type thingy. So I'll put one of those and then some cumin in there as well. Um, I'm about to get started on these pork chops in a minute. So I'll get back with you. It's looking good. It's smelling amazing. All right, YouTube. We're back. Got the beans going. I turned them off for just a minute, but um, they're going again. They are amazing. I tried a couple. Now, what I'm about to do in this pot is um, fry some like pork. So I have like this pork. I don't know where, what part of the uh, pig it is, but there's some piece of pork that they gave me. So I'm gonna just bread it up. So I'm gonna make some like breading mix, like flour and some so uh, seasoning, and then dip in egg and back in there and then throw it in the in the oil in this pan. So stay tuned. I'm gonna start off with this flour um, to do these pork chops. Well, they're kind of like pork chops, but they have no bones. They're just slices of pork. Um, I'm gonna throw some onions, salt, garlic, cayenne, uh, fresh ground pepper, paprika, and oregano into this flour. And then I'm gonna get some eggs out and that's gonna be the mixture for the frying these uh, pieces of pork, all right? So stay tuned for that. Okay, YouTube, I got the pork all seasoned up. Um, I got my eggs and milk mixture here, and then I got my flour mixture here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip one in. The eggs first. Cover it. They're kind of bigger and I thought these slices. Just gonna strain them here, cover that. Try not to let it clunk up. I'm pretty bad at that part. I always let it clunk up. Got plenty, plenty to work with tonight, so I think that'll be good. That should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop one into our oil, which should be hot by now. Just coat that side a little bit more. sizzle that's what we want <clears throat> I'm gonna do another really quick try to get them on similar time yeah you guys I'm just making this kind of recipe up it was something my uncle used to make when I lived in Houston but if you guys have a better way of making it I'm curious to know um, you know, obviously I'm making a mess with everything, but sometimes you gotta do that and then clean up after. All right, I'm drop this piece in. You see how I can spread it out as much as possible. All right, let's go. Let's the oil. All right, so my fingers are down for stuff on it. So I'm gonna clean off my hands and then into these guys for a while. Um, I'll be back with you. All right, YouTube, I think these uh, chops are ready. I'm gonna go pull them off, drop them right in here. Um, so, my tongs. I don't wanna break the skin too much. Just, yeah, that's a good color. Maybe I'll let them go for another second on this side really quick. See that color? 
That might be burnt. I don't think so. I think it's good. But we'll see. My first time doing it like this, so. You know. One by one. I'm just gonna do it. Alright, YouTube, we're back. So I got the second group of the pork chops on. Um, I cleaned all this stuff up. Um, and these are the ones that I took off already. So I took a piece off of it just to make sure it's done. Of course, it's looking really good. Um, it's definitely done. It's um, not like dried out either. So I'm very, very happy with it. It's got lots of flavor. So we're just waiting on the rice. And I think I'm gonna throw this plantain in the, in the oil after and see how that goes. Yeah, I'll let you know. But we're getting very close. Just waiting on these two pieces. The rice and maybe a plantain. The beans are ready, listo. So uh, thanks for uh, you know staying this far. I promise we're gonna get there. All right, peace. What's up, guys? We got the pork, the fried pork, right here, ready, done, listo. Got those plantains almost there. About to flip them, and the rice, and of course, those black beans. So. Um, it's going well, almost done. Got the game on, and I'm gonna show y'all the city. It's lit up right now, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, let me know what y'all think about the view at night. That's super dope. All right, guys. I'll probably be back with the finished product now. We're pretty much done, so thanks for watching. I'll show you guys what, what it looks like in a sec. What's up, YouTube? We got our finished product right here. Nice little meal. Um, it was a lot of work, but I'm glad we made it through. Thanks for watching. Check out that deliciousness. Nice soft beans. Got the game. It's just a real good night. Um, you know, once again, thanks for watching. I wish everybody the best. And uh, I wish everybody could have some of this, but, you know, I'll take care of it. <laughs> Let me uh, know what you guys think about this video. If you guys like to cook anything or um, if I did something wrong, if you do something different, um, you know, all that. So, thanks for watching. Let's get in the comments. Like and subscribe. All right, I'm out. Um, I wish everybody the best, so peace.